In this lecture, we are going to look at automated decision-making, or ADM, specifically how the Federal Trade Commission and Consumer and Financial Protection Bureau use their authorities to enforce the Fair Credit Reporting Act, or FCRA, and Equal Credit Opportunity Act, or ECOA. We will start by defining what automated decision-making is. We will then look at those two laws. We will define what the CFPB is. Again, that's an acronym for the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. We will look at the intersection of ADM, FCRA, and ECOA. We will then look at the FTC's recommendations concerning automated decision-making. We will look at a couple recent FTC case studies to show how the FTC is enforcing against ADM. And we will conclude with a joint statement by a number of different federal agencies on AI. So what is automated decision-making or ADM? This is decision-making in part or whole by means of technology without human intervention. You'll notice here that it does not state artificial intelligence. It's just saying that when we're using technology in part or whole to make a decision without human intervention, then we have the use of automated decision making. There are two laws that you need to know for the AIGP exam, and those are the Fair Credit Reporting Act and the Equal Credit Opportunity Act, and we're going to look at both of these. The FCRA, or Fair Credit Reporting Act, regulates the consumer reporting industry, specifically consumer reporting agencies, or CRAs. A CRA is an individual or entity that collects and appraises PII for the purpose of creating or providing consumer reports to a third party for a fee. And the big three consumer reporting agencies are TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian. A little bit more helpful background on consumer reports. These are any communications that speak to an individual's credit worthiness, credit standing or capacity, character or reputation, personal characteristics, or lifestyle. And again, consumer reports are used to determine eligibility for credit, insurance, employment, and other business purposes. CFPB is an acronym that stands for Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. This is an independent bureau within the Federal Reserve that is responsible for consumer protection, specifically in the financial sector. The CFPB has broad authority to examine financial products and services, write regulations, and bring enforcement actions. The ECOA is the Equal Credit Opportunity Act, and this statute makes it unlawful for creditors to discriminate against any applicant on the basis of protected characteristics. And so just as the EEOC makes it unlawful for employers to discriminate against prospective or current employees, the ECOA makes it unlawful for creditors to discriminate against applicants for credit. And so how do all of these fit together? What is the intersection between automated decision-making, the Fair Credit Reporting Act, and the Equal Credit Opportunity Act? Well, the FCRA and the ECOA require creditors to explain specific reasons for taking adverse actions. Here's another connection to help you with your studying. You'll remember from a previous lecture when we were talking about the EEOC Title VII of the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and the Americans with Disabilities Act, the main issue there was adverse impact. Well, here we're focusing on adverse actions. And so remember that word adverse. It's going to help make connections here between these different statutes and what the existing legislation is targeting with regards to AI systems. An example of an adverse action in this context concerning the FCRA and the ECOA would be denial of credit or denial of housing or lowering of an individual's credit limit. Moving away from the FCRA and the ECOA, even though there's going to be some overlap in the content here, what I want to focus on for the rest of this lecture in the next three slides are different actions that the FTC has taken to indicate 
to the market, to companies, what they intend to enforce with their given authorities. The FTC has recently published a list of recommendations concerning automated decision-making, and I've summarized those recommendations as follows. Don't deceive customers about the use of automated tools. Be transparent when collecting sensitive data. Explain decisions. Notify consumers of changes to terms of service. Don't discriminate. Focus on inputs and outcomes. Provide opportunities for access and amendment. No consumer reporting agency obligations. And validate model performance and outputs. Now, while we haven't looked at these FTC ADM recommendations before, I think a lot of this content is going to be familiar to you by now. You're going to see some overlap with privacy. You're going to see some overlap with the fair information practices, for example. Point number two here, be transparent when collecting sensitive data. In the second column, the second bullet from the top, provide opportunities for access and amendment. In the first column, second from the bottom, notify consumers of changes to terms of service. I want to talk about that for just a moment. One thing a lot of companies, a lot of online services and platforms have started to do is they've changed their terms of service to allow them to train models on user data. And one reason why they're doing that, and this is something we'll come to in a future lecture, is because data engineers are running out of fresh data. And so services are either using their own data to train their own models, or they're licensing user data to AI companies. And data licensing is something we'll talk about in domain seven. But what this point here about notifying consumers speaks to is transparency. We wanna be transparent with our consumers, with our partners, with, with the public, if we're using their data to train and retrain models, that needs to be abundantly clear. There are a few case studies that you need to know about for the AIGP exam. And the first bucket of case studies concern this term algorithmic disgorgement. And what algorithmic disgorgement means is essentially model deletion. The FTC, under at least three cases, has required companies to delete models that were built on data that the company should not have had because that data was not collected in accordance with current statutes and regulations. One case of algorithmic disgorgement concerned Kerbo, and if I recall correctly, Kerbo is either an app or a subsidiary of Weight Watchers, and I'm showing my age a little bit, but way back in my day, Weight Watchers was one program that folks got on to, to help them lose weight. Well, what Kerbo did is it was a diet app for children, but it did not follow the laws and regulations concerning the collection of children's data. And so the FTC required that they delete that model. We've already discussed Cambridge Analytica. They were also required to delete their model. And finally, there's been at least one Amazon case where they were also required to do so. A second case study that you need to know about concerns Rite Aid. And Rite Aid implemented a facial recognition system. However, they deployed that technology without the appropriate safeguards. And so that system was susceptible to malicious actors. And as a result, Rite Aid was required to cease using that system. The final point for this lecture is a joint statement on artificial intelligence. And this statement was issued by a number of different agencies. I've thrown up some alphabet soup here at the very top for you. You can see that these agencies included the FTC, the Department of Justice, Department of Education, Health and Human Services, the Department of Homeland Security, HUD, the Department of Labor, and many, many others. And what you're going to see in this statement, and I've just taken a snippet of the statement, what you're going to see here is really going to echo what we've seen throughout Domain 3 so far. And the part of the statement goes as follows. 
Existing legal authorities apply to the use of automated systems and innovative new technologies just as they apply to other practices. These agencies listed here will enforce civil rights, non-discrimination, fair competition, consumer protection, and other vitally important legal protections. So those two snippets right there come directly from the joint statement. And in a separate statement issued alongside the joint statement, the FTC chair said the following, we already see how AI tools can turbocharge fraud and automate discrimination, and we won't hesitate to use the full scope of our legal authorities to protect Americans from these threats. Again, the major theme here is that there are a number of legal authorities that already exist, either as statutes or regulations. These concern civil rights, non-discrimination, fair competition, consumer protection, and these agencies are using these authorities to protect against adverse impact, adverse selection, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. In this lecture, we have looked at automated decision making. ADM is defined as decision making in part or whole by means of technology without human involvement. The two laws that you need to remember concerning the FTC and the CFPB are the FCRA, or the Fair Credit Reporting Act. This regulates the consumer reporting industry. You also need to remember the Equal Credit Opportunity Act, or ECOA. This statute makes it unlawful for creditors to discriminate against any applicant on the basis of protected characteristics. The overlap or intersection between ADM, the FCRA, and the ECOA is that these two acts require creditors to explain specific reasons for taking adverse actions. This is required regardless of who or what is making the decision. And so if it's an AI system that is denying someone credit, denying someone housing, or lowering someone's credit limit, then the individual who is subject to the adverse action is legally entitled to an explanation of that action. The top line FTC ADM recommendations to remember are don't deceive, be transparent, notify consumers of changes, don't discriminate, and know how current laws apply to AI systems. Regarding FTC case studies, remember the term algorithmic disgorgement. That to me seems like something that's very testable. And also know that the FTC has banned facial recognition systems. Finally, concerning the joint statement on artificial intelligence, the main takeaway there is that the agencies have identified a number of different spaces where they can enforce existing authorities. Those include civil rights, non-discrimination, fair competition, and consumer protection.